Hello friends, I am Nayashik from blogdo.com and today in this video, I'll introduce you to the theme that I use in almost all my websites. This is the best theme according to me. This is the best multipurpose e-commerce theme and the great thing about this is that it's free. It's absolutely free. It's a multipurpose theme which means that you can create any kind of website with it. You can create a simple blog, a business website, an e-commerce website, a buddy press website and so on. For example, if you see on your screen, this is an e-commerce website, a super awesome be and super beautiful e-commerce website. And this is created using this theme that is the Ocean WP free theme. So uh, there is a complete tutorial on how you can create this e-commerce website using a free theme and free plugin. All the thing is free. Okay, so I'll give a link to that video in the video description below. You can click on that link and watch the video. That's an awesome video. Now today in this video, I'll try to go through all the features that is available in this beautiful theme that is the Ocean WP theme. Many people are using this theme on their websites, but most of the people don't know about all the hidden features that this beautiful theme has. Now, if you are new to this channel, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up to this video. Press the bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. Okay, so with that being said, let's get started. Now, first of all, you need to install this theme. So what you can do, you can go to your dashboard. And by the way, for those of you guys who are very new to WordPress, whenever you want to go to your dashboard, just type in your website name forward slash WP hyphen admin. As you can see in the URL bar, your website name and after that uh, forward slash WP hyphen admin, you will reach on this page. Now let's install our new theme. So to do so, what you can do from the right hand side, from the left hand side, you will see this appearances. Now click on appearances or you can hover appearances and click on themes. All right. So first of all, there's an update available. So let me update this theme. In fact, there's an uh, update available for all these things, but I am not interested in that. Okay. So now because I have already installed WP, but if you haven't installed it, let me show you how you can do that. First of all, click on this add new button. Then you will see a list of free themes that are available. There are millions of themes that are free and you can use them. And it's, it's all most of the themes are not that good. It's just a same design, one a specific design and you cannot do a lot with that. OK, so once you once you come to this page, now let's search for the Ocean WP so you can search over here. Ocean WP, you don't need to press enter. It will automatically start searching it. So here is our theme. When you hover this, you'll, you see this activate button because I have already installed this theme. But once, because if you haven't uh, installed it, then you'll see this install button over here. So make sure you install and activate this theme. So let's again go back to themes. Now, as you can see, I'm getting this customized option, which means that I have installed and activated it. Now let's see how you can create a page. So how are pages and click on add new. Let's create a sample page. OK, so we'll just type in the title first and click on publish. Now let's see how this page looks. So let's open this in a new tab. So as you can see, like a normal page, this is how it looks. OK, whenever you create a normal page in any WordPress theme, this is basically uh, how it will look. OK, so at the top we have our header, then we have the title. This is the title sample. This is the breadcrumb. OK, uh, and after that we have the sidebar, right sidebar and all those space. As you can see, there is a lot of space uh, at the bottom. That is the margin default margin. At top also, you'll see uh, about this search bar, there's some margin. So that is the top margin. So suppose you're going to create a home page, then there is a lot of thing that you have to do. First of all, in home page, like you, if you see our page, our home page, we don't have any sidebar or such. And here we have a default and a very boring sidebar. So we need to get rid of that. In normal themes, uh, they have a very specific design. You cannot get rid of this very easily. OK, but here, Let's see what happens. So you come back to this page and when you scroll down, you'll see this beautiful option. Now, this is the main thing about this theme. OK, you get this ocean WP settings uh, below uh, this th be below this section and in every page you'll get these options. OK, so let's see one by one. The first option, if you see, this is the main option under main option. We have three different options. First one is content layout. Then we have some options over here. Do you want right sidebar, left sidebar 
full width or 100% full width. So I basically uh, select this one full width or you can select 100% full width. Now what this will do is it will get rid of all these things. Okay, this sidebar. Okay, so we won't have any sidebar uh, either at left or right. We'll simply have a blank page. Let's see whether that works or not. So let's click on update come back over here let's refresh this page okay guys now as you can see that sidebar is gone now we have a footer over here now let's get rid of this uh, title and this breadcrumb because obviously in the home page as you can see we don't use a title and a breadcrumb so let's see how we can do that now you'll see this uh, there are so many options so here we'll go through all of them one by one but first let's see the basic things now you go to title and you simply disable it okay so you disable it click on update come back to this page and now as you can see when i we at present have this thing but when i refresh this page you will see this section gone let's see all right guys so as you can see that title and everything is gone now we have the header and footer in between there is nothing so this is the perfect scenario to create and to start creating your home page because we don't want anything between the header and footer we just want this section okay so or if you want to create this website again you can watch that tutorial that's awesome you can use it now let's see if there are a few more options over here okay so first option was main we have uh, so set this to 100 percent full width you can change it you can make it full width left right sidebar okay then you can select this sidebar there are many different sidebars available so what where can you see that so when you hover appearances you'll see widgets let's open this widgets in a new tab Okay, so when you see over here, there are so many different sidebars available like footer one, left sidebar, right sidebar, all these sidebars. Okay, so what you can do is you can select what sidebar do you want to show over here if you have selected the sidebar layout. Okay, it's obviously. So suppose I want to show the WooCommerce sidebar. So there is a specific sidebar for WooCommerce as you can see and it has some widgets then I can show this specific sidebar on this page. So I can change my sidebars depending on different pages. For example, in post archive page, I can show all the post at the sidebar in WooCommerce shop page. I can show all the products at, uh, in my sidebar. So that's a really cool option. You can choose what do you want to show in your sidebar according to different pages. So you can literally set different sidebars for every single page. Okay, so that is what it is. Now we can disable margin. There is some default margin at top and bottom. So you can disable that because we have set this to 100% full width that is automatically disabled. But if you see uh, uh, some gap over here, you can disable that. Then we have short quotes option. Now this is a very beautiful option. Now as you can see, you have dif uh, different options over here, uh, which first one is short code before top bar so if you have some short code that can display something then what happens is you can put in this short code for example uh, basically when you use slider revolution you get a short code for different sliders when you use contact form 7 or most of the contact form builders you will get a short code for each form that you create so you can use those short codes to display anywhere suppose uh, before the top bar after the top bar before the header after the header before title and all these uh, places okay so it's all up to you then we have the header option now as you can see this is the header that we have a beautiful and simple header okay we have the logo then we have our menu bar over here now in the header option as well first of all you can simply disable the header okay now this is the top bar okay we haven't enabled it okay uh, at the top of this menu there is something called top bar okay so you can have that top bar as well or you can simply disable it and uh, you'll see some gap at the top when i disable it everything that uh, uh, that you see over there will be gone okay let me update this page let's come over here let's click on refresh now if you noticed before uh, we, uh, we re reload this uh, there was some gap over here okay at top of this header so that thing is gone that was the space for top bar you can display your phone number your address and those things in the top bar you know above this header we have some a very small bar so that is what the top bar is now you can also disable the header if you don't want to disable the header suppose many times what happens is you can create landing pages landing pages basically do not have a header because you're you're you know redirecting a person from uh, some different 
location to this landing page okay so basically uh, disabling header is useful in landing pages let's see let's update this page let's click come over here let's refresh it now as you can see even the header is gone so you have a lot of customization option uh, options over here now let me again go to header let me enable it or let me set this to default now you can enable it and there are many options available for header style as well now this is a really crazy feature you know you have options for header style in a free theme okay that is really crazy you have full screen you can make it center you can make it medium vertical and all those things let's uh, make it center and uh, okay fine let's make it uh, full screen let's see what happens okay let's click on update come over here let's refresh this page all right now as you can see the menu is gone and we have this hamburger icon let's click on this now as you can see this is how our menu looks like this is the full uh, this is the full screen menu this is what it is called you have your top bar uh, sorry your search bar and you have your menus over here so you can change different uh, uh, style for different menus. You can put this logo in the center and you can have your menu uh, at right and left. So there are a lot of app options available. Then after that, you have a logo option. You can set different logo for different pages. That's right, guys. Different logos for different pages and even different menus for different pages okay so here you can add your logo and obviously uh, after some time i'm in later on in this video i'm going to show you how you can set a global logo that will be displayed uh, on uh, throughout your website on any page or any post or any product okay but you can set specific logo for specific pages that option you have available over here now you have some more options like you can set a max width uh, of the logo for example if you don't want your logo to uh, logo width to be more than 200 pixels you can set 200 pixels over here you can set max height you can say, set max width for tablet max width for mobile and similarly max height for tablet and mobiles okay then you have the menu option you can set different menus for different pages you can change the typography of the menu you can change the font style color uh, all this link color is as, as you can see hover color background color all these options for example let's change the uh, background color let's see okay let's change something first of all let's change the link color to red let's see whether this uh, works or not okay let me select click on update let's come over here let's uh, refresh this page okay first of all let's make it the normal menu okay here it is header default header click on update let's come over here let's refresh it now as you can see all the uh, thing all the menu with link or uh, and obviously all, all of them have links have turned to red color so you can control all these things from here then you can i have shown you you can disable the title or you can set different options for example there are different style for title as well for example if you see over here there are style center title background image you can for example you can make your title centered let's see how that looks click on update come come over here let's refresh it now as you can see your title is being displayed in center earlier it was uh, being displayed at the left side so you have these options as well then we have the breadcrumbs option you can set breadcrumbs option for example here is your breadcrumb you can see you can change the color separator color link color and all those things footer option as well if you don't want to disable if you don't want to show the footer widget area on this page you can simply disable it let's see whether that works or not let's click on update let's come over here let's refresh it now as you can see the footer area is also gone Okay, you can also uh, remove this copyright area if you want under the footer section. So there are a lot of customization options as uh, available as you can see. Now this was the first thing. You have uh, these options for pages and all. Now let me do one thing. Let me show you the more customize, you know, customizations options available. Okay, so you can come to your home page and click on customize at the top. Okay, guys, so when you do so, you'll see a screen which would look something like this. At the left hand side, you have some options, and at the right hand side, it will display your page. So, at the left hand side, there are the first three, four options are the basic options that you will find in any website, in any theme that you use to create your WordPress website. For example, your site identity, 
menus, widgets, home settings. These are the options that you'll find on every theme. Now, after that, we have the most amazing options. So first option over here is general options. Let's click on that. So first option over here is general styling. Let's click on general styling. Now again, as you can see, you can change the background color of your website. For example, if I want to make it red, as you can see, obviously it is looking too bad, but you know, you can change it. You can make it some different color or some gray color if you want, okay, instead of white color. Or if you want to set this to default again, if you have messed up over here, you can simply click on this default button and everything will be set to default. So that's a great thing. Again, you can change the link color or link cover color throughout the website. So you have these options as well. Now, when you come back, you'll see the next option is general settings. And this is also a very beautiful and cool option. First of all, let's hide these controls and let's see how our website is looking at present. So as you can see, this is how it is looking. Okay. You have all these options like this. Now what you can do is let's uh, come over here. We can change this. In fact, let's go to the shop page so that we can see everything more properly. Okay. Let me go to the shop page. All right, guys. Now let me hide controls. So this is how our shop page is looking. Okay. This is by default full width. Now let me change the layout to boxed layout. Okay. So it is loading. Okay. Now you won't see any change right now, but when I hide control now, as you can see, this website is turned into a boxed web website. Okay. As you can see at the left hand, right, we have some margin and in the center, we have a beautiful website. So you can have this design or this layout if you like it. Then we also have a separate layout. When you click on this, all the sections will get separated. Let me show you. When I hide, hide control, you can see the, uh, it looks like the header is floating somewhere. All these widgets are floating you know everything is separated. Okay. So this is the separated layout. Again, this is also a beautiful layout. So I'll go back to wide or maybe go back to boxed first. Now here also you can change the color of the background. So whatever background you see, you can change the outside background color and inside background color. So let me make the outside background color as blue and inside background color as red. Okay. Let me hide controls. Now, as you can see, the outside background color is blue and inside it is red. And obviously it is looking terrible, but you know, I just wanted to show you guys that you can do that. So let me set both the color to default. Okay. Then you can change the content with now. This is a great, great, great option. Okay. Now many people might think, you know what, this sidebar is quite small or this sidebar is quite big. I want it small, big, whatever you like it. You can change it from here. Now, if you see the default percentage is 72% for this section where you see these products. So 72% of the page is uh, saved for this content for these products or whatever you have. And 28% is saved for the sidebar. Now, if you want to decrease the size of the sidebar, as you can see, when I do decrease it, you can see the changes in the sidebar. So suppose I want to make it 20 and I want to increase the, uh, content area to 80. Now let me hide. Now, as you can see the, this one is quite small and this one has increased in size. Okay. So you can do this as well. Okay. So let me again go back to default. So I'll just click on this uh, button, this link and everything will set back to default. Now we can change the page layout from here. You can uh, add custom paddings you can do all these options. Okay. So I uh, let me go, go a bit faster because I think it is going too big. Okay. So it is getting too long. Okay. So let me go to page title, which is the next option. Now you can control the design of the page title over here. And if you want to hide this page title on specific devices, you can do it from here. You can change the tagline for the head, uh, for the head heading. You can change the background color for the heading for, okay. So it will change only the background color of this portion. So suppose I want maybe back black background color for this section and the text, I want it to be white. Okay. So this is also looking quite good. Don't you think so? Okay. So you can change the design as well. Okay. So this is also looking decent. You can change some more settings from here. Let me go back. Okay. Not from here, from here. Then we also have the, uh, we, uh, we also have this option available, which is scroll to top. 
you can control this button as you can see if you follow my cursor you will see this button when you click on this button you will be redirected to the top page so you can change the style of this button by default this icon is selected if you want to change the icon for example let's set this icon now as you can see the icon is changed over here you can increase the button size like uh, i am doing as you can see in fact you can increase it more like this okay the size i think it is uh, 60 is the maximum size you can also increase the size of the icon now as you can see when i do so you can see the changes on that button okay so you can also uh, change the radius you can uh, uh, radius changing the radius will make it more circular it will make the corners rounded let me show you so as you can see when i increase it now this button is become a circular button okay so that is what the radius will do you can change the color of the button as well for example if you can uh, if you want you can make it red you can change the hover color for example when someone hovers this color it should turn yellow okay so as you can see this is how it is done okay so this was the scroll to top button after that we have paginations now this is what pagination is as you can see page number one two three this is what it is okay so you can align it by default it is aligned to right i can make it center now as you can see this section is in the center i can increase the font size as you can see this is looking terrible but you can do that you can increase the border okay so you have all this customization options now you can change the background color background hover color and all these options from here let's go back and after that we have forms so we don't have any form over here but you can control few things from here the padding area the label color and so on then we have theme buttons for example you have one button over here and there will be many buttons that you can create and use in uh, throughout the website so you can change the color of the background from here so let me make it red now as you can see there is one button over here filter button and the changes have taken place now let me make the hover color as white now as you can see when i hover that filter button it turn let me make it black okay as you can see so whenever there is wherever there is a button used you will see the changes taking place over there okay and we have some more option i guess okay so we have the color color hover okay so you can change the font color from here okay so by default it is set to white you can change it from here let's go back after that we have 404 error page now this is another amazing option what happens is uh, many times people will get that uh, awkward 404 uh, uh, page not found thing okay so what you can do you can actually create a page and set that page as a 404 page so basically what you can do is suppose a 404 is just nothing but whenever you there is a person is searching for something on the website for example they use this search bar to search for something on the website and that thing doesn't exist on your website then they'll see that not found page and basically a basic design of 404 not found page is just you know in capital in bold and very big letters it will be written 404 page not found but you can uh, actually tweak those things what you can do is you can create a different page and you can just make it you can just imagine when i say you can just have uh, the title at the top 404 page not found but you can write something like you know but we have some more things for you and at the bottom you can give all your page links some pro products and so on now what that will do is whenever someone goes to that uh, whenever someone is finding for something and they don't find it on your website then you will give them some options you know what you didn't find that thing but why don't you try this page why don't you try that product and so on i hope it is clear okay so that is what this thing will do it is also a very important option now as you can see just under one general option we had so many different options now let me go very fast after that we have typography you can change now as you can see this is the font style this is the font family and size and color you can change it okay you can change the heading one style heading two style you can change the body uh, font okay this is all the body font that is used if you don't like this uh, font family you can change it from here you can change uh, fonts of specific places like main menu but if you want to change the fonts only of the main menu you can do it from here for example uh, let me it is by default to monster which is my favorite font so i don't want to change that but let us do some changes over here let us uh, now as you can see by default this is how it is looking quite bold 
Now let me make it a bit thinner. So what I'll do is I'll select this one light. Now as you can see it is almost gone. Let's select normal. Okay so as you can see this is how you can change the size of the font if you, if you want. If you want let's make it uh, 14 pixels. Now as you can see this is quite smaller. So you can do all these uh, changes from here. Now let's come back and let's see some more changes. So here we have the top bar. Uh, okay so we have the general option. Where do you want to display the top bar? If you don't want to display the top bar by default, uh, you can see this thing. Place your content here. This is where your this is how, how your top bar will look. Okay, let me show you what you can put over there. Okay, so first of all, you go to content and you can select a template to show on your top bar, or you can just type in some content from here. For example, I can type in phone number and my phone number or whatever phone number I want. Now as you can see at the top they will see the phone number. Now you can see some more you can create some more things over here. Okay you have a, you can have a complete line of content over here. Then we have some social icons if you want you can display your social icons at the top as well. So let me put this simple hashtag so that I can just show you. Alright so as you can see at the left hand side you will see the social icons Google plus Pinterest okay so you can have this option as well. Now let me go back and let's see what we have next we have header we have seen most of this uh, settings related to header in the page setting and that was for specific page and here you can do it globally uh, which means for entire website okay so you can change this style to full screen to whatever you like background color background color of this header if you want to change the background color of the header if you want to make it red you can do it from here okay if you want to change the style instead of minimum you if you want to make it center let this load and let's see how it looks okay so as you can see the uh, menu is now in the center and uh, the icon is now in the center and we have the menu like that okay so you can tweak some more thing from your left menu uh, actually you can select left menu and right menu okay let's see Okay, so what you can do is you can create a small uh, instead of creating one complete menu you can divide this menu into two and you can have these three links in the left menu and uh, re remaining links in the right menu and you can select left menu and right menu from here. Okay, so you can do these things as well. So let me go back to the minimal style. Let's come back and then we have header media. You can add some media in the header I don't know about this option a lot so let's come back. You can change your logo from here as you can see I have this logo you can change the logo you can increase or decrease the max width you can increase or decrease the max height from here okay. Then we have the menu option men uh, option related to menus alright so you can uh, again uh, select a template you can change the effect link effect okay by default there is no effect but you can uh, add like this okay for example brackets now whenever I, I hover to any menu link you will see brackets effect okay let me show you okay as you can see when I hover track orders you can see the bracket effects you can change these effects like uh, let's select circular reveal let's see what happens now now as you can see we get this circular uh, option okay so there are a lot of options available you can play around with that and you will get better idea you can have social menu may, uh, mobile menu not very important so we'll come back then we have blog options so you can control how a blog looks like how the blog page look, uh, looks like what should be the layout left sidebar right sidebar complete uh, full width or and so on then you can select the block style large, do you want the large images or thumbnail or grid I don't think we have a block page right now so I cannot show you that uh, and you can but uh, when I do these changes for products you will understand it uh, for this thing also it is very much similar okay so let me come back and let me directly go to WooCommerce so that you'll under when I do these changes for products and for WooCommerce settings you can apply the same similar settings to pro post and blog okay so first of all in the WooCommerce option you'll see and obviously you won't see this WooCommerce option if you have not installed the WooCommerce plugin okay so that makes sense first option over here is store notice so this is very useful when you're creating your website when you're in the development uh, stages and your website is not yet live 
but you know you're showing your website people might come and you just might have some dummy products and they might end up purchasing the dummy product so that can be a bit problematic okay so this is where this uh, option comes uh, into picture you can uh, enable this and as you can see there is a, a very beautiful and a very useful i would say a thing already given you can simply enable the store notice and now you'll see at the bottom let it reload first now you can as you can see at the bottom this says this is a demo store for testing purposes no orders shall be uh, fulfilled and the person can simply dismiss this okay so this is also an important feature i think okay then we have general woocommerce settings you can have a custom woocommerce sidebar like we have as you can see a different sidebar for woocommerce page and you can control all these things okay if you want to learn more about that watch that video which is given in the video uh, okay the link of that video is given in the video description below now you can change the style uh, on sale uh, let me see first display cart when product added okay so yeah we want to display cart or you can just set this to no uh, widget style you can say select a default or drop down add to wish list icon do you want to show the add to wish list icon in header if you tick mark this we'll get another uh, icon over here let's see now as you can see we have this uh, icon okay as you can see we have three products in the wish list so you can do that as well now when you see over here uh, whatever product is in sale you'll see this batch sale batch you can change the style of that batch by default it is square you can make it circle okay let's see what happens okay i think we have to reload this to do this changes but you know that is that is what it will do now let's come back let's see some more options we have menu cart okay uh, option related to this cart icon so we can have icon and cart count okay so because as you can see it shows the icon and also the count how many products you have in your cart so it shows one if you want to show only the icon you can uh, do it over here uh, and you have some more option icon and cart total as well okay icon and cart count plus total let's select this one let's see what this does all right now as you can see when you select this you also get the total subtotal price over here so this is what it does i guess okay so you can change you can also change the uh, style for example when i hover this you can see this uh, drop down style you can change this to something else if you want now we can also change the uh, cart icon by default this is the icon the bag icon if you want you can select this cart icon now as you can see the icon is changed and you can increase the size of the icon okay as you can see on your header the icon size is getting increased you can change the style compact spacious and all those different things from here okay so you have a lot of customization options here as well then we have archives okay product archive page for example we are on the archive page where it displays all the different products that we have so first of all do you want to show the products do you want to show the categories or you want to show both so i just want to show the products like as you can see we have all the products showing up at the right hand side then what all option now by default it is the left sidebar if i want i can make it right sidebar let me show you now as you can see we have this sidebar at the right side so you can do that as well okay shop post per page as you can see by default is set to 12 so let's see 3 uh, 6 9 12 so 12 products are showing if you want you can make it 10 and you can increase or decrease the number of columns for for example here three products are showing and i if i want i can increase four and now as you can see there will be four products per row okay then after that you can change the style grid view list view okay the default style let me show you this okay now as you can this see this is the list view if you want you can go back to grid view and let's change the column back to three okay it is taking some time for loading okay right we have this thing over here then we have some option like let's see uh display filter button do you want to display filter button so if you want you can do that then you can control the elements positioning and whether you want to show them or not so let's see over here so by default as you can see at the top we have the image so here also we have the image 
Then we have the category. So here, if you see, we have the bags category. Then we have the title. Here we have the crocodile dandy. So this is the title. Then we have the price. So price is not displayed, but in this product, as you can see, we have the price. Then description, which is not uh, uh, which is not displayed. Then after that, at the bottom, we have add to cart button. Now you can change this style completely and you can also disable something. For example, if I don't want this add to cart button to be shown over here, I can simply click on this I button and it will disable it. Let's see. Now, as you can see, that button is gone. If I, I, if I don't want this, uh, what is this? This categories to be shown, then I can disable the categories as well. Okay, let's see. So categories is also gone. I can also disable the price. Let's see. I don't know why would you do that, but I'm just showing you the options. So now, as you can see, we just have the products and we have the title. So you can do this as well. And you can have the content alignment center, layer fright, pagination style, all those things can be changed from here. Now, when you come back, you can also change single product style. So let me first open a single product. So let's open this product. Okay, this is out of stock. We should not have opened this. Let's see. Okay, so this product is already out of stock. So let me open a normal product where we have some stock available. So let me open this one. All right, so this is how your single product page would look like. So first of all, you can change the layout instead of left sidebar, you can have right sidebar, or you can just display full width and remove the sidebar. Let's see how that would look. All right, so why is it not changing? Let's select this one. Okay, now as you can see, this is displaying. Now again, let's select that one. Sometimes it doesn't load properly. That's why that happens. Okay, so as you can see, now this is working. So this is how your product page would look like without any sidebars. Okay, so if you want, you can have the sidebar. If you want, you can display the single product without any sidebar. Okay, it's all up to you. Now here also you have the same option. Uh, we have the title, then rating, then price, excerpt, then quantity and wish to add all this option product meta. If you want to show, suppose if you want to show this uh, metadata at the top or uh, just below the title or price, you can do that. Okay. So let me put it just below the price. All right. Now, as you can see below the price, we have this metadata that is the SKU and the categories. So you can do that. Sim similarly, you can change the uh, image width and summary width. Okay. So this is the basically the image width and this is the summary width. If I want, I can decrease the image width. I can just like that, but that would look bad and I can increase the uh, summary width. Okay. So you can see you have a lot of options. So over here, thumbnail layout, horizontal, vertical. Okay. Now, as you can see, when I select vertical, this is how it will display when I select to horizontal this is how it will display at the bottom okay okay so this is how it will look when you do this change let's hide control okay so it is this is how it will look okay let's see some more options a tabs option left right center so these are the tabs as you can see uh, by default it is center if you want to make it left you can simply make it a left and all the tabs are on the left hand side now similarly there are some more options you can just go through all of them we have the cart option all right so not very important checkout option okay you have you can change all these things from here your privacy policy and all those things i don't want to make this video a very long one so i i think we have covered all the important options yeah all the important options are covered i hope you guys like this uh, video this is a free theme so i think you can go ahead and give a try and if you like it that's good if you don't like it no problem Okay, so let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this theme, whether you're ready to use this or not. Or if you know some better free theme or premium theme, please leave a comment in the video description below. Let me also know that theme self so that I can recommend that to others. Okay, so if you have enjoyed this video, if you think this video was helpful, then you can make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. Give a thumbs up to this video if it helps you. And don't forget to uh, share this with your friends on social media networks like Facebook, Twitter and so on. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.